Students at Mason High School are used to seeing these things when it comes time for final exams. Scantron tests, multiple choice, short answer, you've seen it all. But one teacher at MHS took a big risk this year when he told his students that they could choose an alternative way to show what they learned in class. And this is what one student came up with. Forensics teacher Randy Hubbard took a big risk. Instead of giving his students a traditional test, he decided to give them an alternative way to show what they learned in his class. Well, I think a lot of times that students are good test takers and other ones aren't. And I think sometimes students learn a lot of things along the way, but when they get on the test, they kind of freeze and, and don't necessarily do their best. And that's why I thought I'd give them an opportunity to tell me what they learned during the school um, semester and um, see it, if they really understood the concepts. When Mr. Hubbard presented the project, I saw RAP listed as one of the options. And when I looked at it, I was kind of surprised, but I thought it was really cool that he gave us a lot of freedom to choose what we wanted to for the project. So I thought it would be really fun to try and come up with lyrics, give it a shot. Um, I like to do music. It's something that I've been doing um, for the past couple months. So I, I took it as a challenge when I saw it. And um, from there, I grabbed all my notes. Um, I added a little comical flair to it uh, to make it rhyme, and I had a lot of fun with the project, and I think it was really cool that Mr. Hubbard let us have that freedom. I get the PMI, the time that elapsed since that shawty died. I ain't got a T-R-Y, cause insect activity does not lie. I think some kids like to take tests and they do better in that situation, and other kids are very good at expressing themselves, and this gives them an opportunity to show their talents or what they're really good at. And, and she really hit a lot of the things that I wasn't sure that she really understood during the semester. Um, and for her to create a whole raft with it and take it to the studio and stuff, I thought was pretty impressive. Jenna knew the material. She had spent an entire semester in this class and she wanted to bring that knowledge to life. So when she had some extra studio time, her plan for a forensics rap finally came together. One day I had a little extra time in the studio. I was there for a different song. I like to make music on the side just by myself. So I had a little extra time in the studio and I asked the engineer there if I could take the last 20 minutes and just record this forensics rap. And it was really funny, he was laughing. And yeah, I just had a really fun time with the project. More and more, you're starting to see teachers give their students an alternative way to show what they learned in their classes. Sometimes it's a risky option, sometimes it pays off, but in the case of Jenna's forensic rap, the outcome was positive. And for the record, she did get an A on her final exam. I'm Kayla Taylor, NBC News. Genocide going hard in the academics, solving crimes with techniques, yeah, that's forensics. Yeah. Dot my eyes, cross my T's, get it all connected. You can get away with anything, cause I